Peter, first of all, welcome to San Jose. How excited are you about this opportunity? Oh, really excited. I mean, uh, you know, coming in here as a visiting coach, uh, how electric this building is, uh, the uh, history of the franchise, and, uh, you know, being able to come in here and, and uh, try and make an immediate impact, hopefully, with this group is something that uh, I just can't wait to get started. What was the process of coming to San Jose and actually getting the job like? Well, obviously, uh, you know, there was a lot of coaching op openings uh, this off season. It was uh, quite a year in the NHL, so, uh, you know, you go through the interview process, but this was a job right at the top of, of my personal list. Uh, I interviewed with some other teams, but right away I clicked with Doug. Uh, I had interviewed with him actually seven years ago uh, when uh, he went with Todd and I ended up going to Florida, but so we had a little bit of a history there and uh, the ability to to work with Doug again seven years later and, and to step into this franchise. I've got a history with a few of the players here. I actually coached uh, Joe Thornton and Patrick Marlowe on a Canadian under-18 team, if you can imagine that, uh, how many years ago that is. But, uh, you know, it's just a, an exciting time, an exciting roster that uh, I really uh, feel that uh, I can come in and make a difference. Give us an idea from your own perspective of what type of coach you are and what kind of a team you want the Sharks to be. I think I'm demanding. Uh, I know what I want, I know how I want my team to play, and uh, we're going to push on a daily basis to make sure that, uh, that they're achieving that. Uh, at the same time, uh, I've re made a real effort to be cutting edge as far as, as style of play and, and uh, some of the new things that are coming into the game. For the Sharks fans that don't know a lot about you and only saw you in, say, Florida and New Jersey, your resume is pretty extensive. You've been in the World Juniors, as you mentioned, gold medal. Gold medal recently a part of the coaching staff with the World Championships. You won an OHL title. You won a Memorial Cup title. And you've done something that a lot of Sharks fans would love to see soon, and that's coach your team in the Stanley Cup Final. Uh, give us an idea of the experiences that you've had over the years that's going to help you now. Well, I, I think every experience you have makes you better as a coach, the winning and the losing. And I, I think for all the, the great seasons and the championships we've won and the runs to the Stanley Cup, I think some of the teams that I've coached that we haven't made the playoffs with have taught me just as much. I think that's the evolution of coaching and that, that's why I think uh, teams are looking for experienced coaches because you learn something every time you go through that. So. I think I've got a nice range of uh, both successes and failures and, uh, you know, have come to appreciate uh, both and uh, they've, they've both made me a better coach. One person that's in the Sharks organization still and has been on the coaching staff is Larry Robinson, somebody you know very well. He was on your staff when you went all the way to the Stanley Cup final with the Devils. And I wonder, besides the influence that he obviously must have had on you, how much influence did he have on your taking the job here and understanding what the Sharks organization was all about? Huge influence. I mean, Larry's influence is everywhere in hockey. This is a man who's, you know, been in, his, in the game his entire life and, uh, you know, probably going on more than 50 years. And uh, so it was an exceptional experience to be able to come into New Jersey and coach with him for that year and, and we had a tremendous run to the finals and he was a, a huge part of that. Uh, it was tough to lose him to San Jose and, and we missed him uh, in the years that he left but uh, I've kept in contact and, and uh, he's one of those guys that uh, you work with him once, play with him once, meet him you know one or two times you feel like you know him you know for your whole life and uh, I've uh, leaned heavily on him, you know, as far as this organization, and I know he, uh, you know, helped me land this job. One of the most dynamic and mercurial players on the Sharks roster is Brent Burns. You just had an experience uh, with a, a coaching situation with him with the World Championships. Give us an idea of what you're thinking uh, about the opportunity to coach him over an 82-game schedule and into the playoffs. Yeah, I've known Brent since I coached junior in Ontario and he played in Brampton. I watched him, you know, as a minor hockey player. I've coached him twice at the World Championships, uh, including the, the recent, most recent gold medal uh, championship. So uh, I love Brent. I love his energy. I love what he brings to the rink. He's a, a special talent and he's a special guy. What's your impression of what this organization is, what the makeup of the roster is, and what possibilities they have? Well, when I think about the Sharks, especially playing them here in San Jose, I, I think about an intimidating building, uh, a team that jumps uh, and attacks from the drop of the puck through the, the 60th minute of the game, puts a lot of pressure on you in, in all three zones, uh, and has uh, a lot of talent and the ability to put the puck in the net. So, you know, that's my initial thought when I think about coming in here. Last season, the Sharks did not have a captain on their roster. A couple of other teams also did that. 
Uh, give us an idea of the quality of a person and a player that you want in the next captain of the San Jose Sharks and what you want from your leadership group. Well, the first thing I see here is, is I see a leadership group. I see a lot of leadership potential. Uh, you know, when you're going down the list of, of guys that are here, Thornton and Marlowe and Vlasic and Couture and Pavelski and Burns, you know, on and on. Uh, and I'm sure I'm leaving some guys out here, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of potential there. And, and I've always been a big believer in more of a, a committee and a group leading than, than an individual, especially when you've got a good team. Uh, I know the teams that I've ever won with, you know, it's always been much more than just the guy wearing the C. It's been the support group around him. And beyond that, at the next layer, you also have some pretty exciting young kids to work with. Give us your thought about the kids in the organization. Yeah, I like the kids. I, I like the look of them. I mean, obviously, uh, Doug gave them a chance to come in here in last year and make an impact. Uh, it's always tough getting your feet wet at this level and, and figuring out whether you can contribute and play or not. Uh, there's a nice level of, uh, of young guys coming in underneath uh, you know, that are going to be a big part of our depth here. One thing that will be a little bit different for the Sharks organization this year is that the American Hockey League team, the Worcester Sharks, is relocating to San Jose to become the San Jose Barracuda. So that means that Roy Sommer and his staff will be right down the hall from you. They'll practice in the same place, Sharks Ice. They'll play in the same arena, SAP Center at San Jose. Uh, what else do you see in the excitement of having the team so close to where you are, as similar to what you had in New Jersey with Albany? I think it's a critical move. I, I think when you look at uh, the Leafs with the Marlies in town and uh, some of the other organizations that have their, their farm teams very close. I, I think it's critical. You've been to the Stanley Cup final, and we watched it very closely when you played the Los Angeles Kings back in 2012. Larry Robinson joined this organization after that. Now you're with the San Jose Sharks. Uh, what you know about this team and what you know about what it takes to get to the pinnacle of this game, how far away are the Sharks right now? I don't think anybody's that far away, particularly this team. I, I think you have to make sure that you don't get too far ahead of yourself. I know the year we got there, uh, our first goal was to come out and get a foundation laid for our team of playing the right way every night. And then we built on that and that started to become some wins. And then we found a way to, to uh, get a playoff spot, which is critical. If you don't get a ticket to the dance, you, you never get an opportunity. So. That was the third step. And then once the playoffs came around, then we started to roll and, and found our groove. So I think you have to make sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself looking at the end goal. For us, this is going to start with a foundation of playing the right way and, and developing an identity of being a team that's hard to play against every night. And we'll build off that. Plus, you've got the tempo of getting used to Northern California, and it's a great place to live. I think it's the best place to live in the world. But tell us about your family and, and how they're looking forward to making California their home. It's beautiful here. I mean, uh, you couldn't ask for better hockey weather, being able to walk outside an arena and step into the sunshine. Uh, you know, I'm excited about living here. I'm excited about working uh, in this environment. I'm most excited about standing behind that bench on a home night uh, with the crowd rocking the way they do here in this arena and uh, the intimidation factor that comes with that from uh, standing on an opposing bench the last seven or eight years. Do you have an early message for Sharks fans as you take this job? Uh, my message would be trust in the process. We're going to build a foundation from training camp. We've got a motivated group of athletes that uh, have a lot of character and are ready to bounce back. Finally, Peter, we're just really excited to have you here in San Jose. Welcome to the Sharks and all the best of luck. And we look forward to speaking with you on the radio quite a bit. Thank you. Real excited to be here.